Hello, 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 and welcome to the channel. For those of you that are on for the first time, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia, and I am Boss Lady for you guys. So today we are going to be working on a sympathy basket, which can also be used for any other occasion as well. But when I say sympathy basket, it's just so that we can put a specific title with it when we are listing it online. Or guys, to go a step further, if you are looking to get connections or you're looking to network with different businesses, this would be a great example of something simple and inexpensive to present to funeral homes. Funeral homes are always looking for um, nice gifts to give to their actual um, bereaved families. And I think this would be a really, really good item for a funeral home to present to one of their bereaved families, guys. Um, everything that I'm going to be doing on this video actually came from Dollar Tree. And if you've been following me for a while, this is an actual um, set of items that I have used in an actual basket to make, guys. And um, our focus was not bereavement on that basket, okay? The, the focal point for that video, I think, was kind of like an inspirational basket. So, but it can be used for many different things. For a person that's spiritual, you can use it for their birthday, anniversary, whatever. But I want to gear your minds towards targeting certain businesses, businesses and corporations so that you can get um, some contracts and not just wait to do single sales, okay? Maybe you can get a contract with the funeral home where you're giving them 10 to 15 of these baskets a month, or it just depends on how busy the actual funeral home is. Maybe they haven't even thought about something like this. This is something that you can actually introduce to the company by way of visiting the company or maybe making a small brochure showing several different items that you can present to their company so that they can present to their families that come, okay? So I've had a contract in time pass with a funeral home and, um, well, not an actual contract, but I did a lot of business with them. And the baskets that I would put together, they would give me like some of their brochures or some of their business cards, just some of their items to mix in with what I was creating. So you can make that suggestion to them as well that it can be more personalized. But yeah, so let's get started. We are going to be using this actual um, um, little gift box, gift tray um, that we got from Dollar General. Actually, it's a food tray, not a gift tray, but we're going to use it as a gift tray, okay? So remember, you don't have to use things specifically for what they were designed for. So we're gonna call this like a sympathy box, okay? Sympathy box. I think that's a great way to advertise it and the bottom just simply has some um shipping paper at the bottom i normally use newspaper but for something like this i don't want to quite use newspaper we're just going to use shipping paper or you can use gift tissue at the bottom okay and um like i said all of this stuff came from dollar tree Another great addition to add to this basket, I didn't have any handy, which is something that I need to get and keep on hand is candles. I kind of buy them in spurts. I don't buy them and keep them in my stockpile like I should unless it's around Christmas and Valentine's Day, but I just need to get some to just keep on a regular basis. So we're just gonna lay it in and it's no specific right or wrong way. So we're just gonna play around with it until we get it kind of how we want it, okay? I always kind of pre-make this stuff before I get on the video. Then when I get on the video, I kind of like, where did I have this at? And where did I have this? <laughs> I sometimes like to just go ahead and do the video with it already placed there and then kind of just do a after video showing you but then that's not helping people that are new following me or either people that are new um, to gift basket design. And so I wanna make sure, you know, sometimes that I do step by step. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna be changing this around. Just let me play around with it for a minute, okay? So 
um, candles that they have at Dollar Tree, the long ones, would be a really good addition to put in this basket. Um, you can either slide, you can kind of slide these items over if you find something similar to this and just put those long candles right here. And um, like I said, I started to go to Dollar Tree and get one so that I could add it into this one, but I'll do it on the next one or some of the ones that I do for Christmas. But if you do happen to get um, some of those, can those candles and make these sympathy boxes or whatever you want to label them as, I would definitely, if I'm going to do it as a sympathy box, my idea um, was to um, use my Cricut machine and put with sympathy on the front of the candle. And that would just really, really, um, really personalize it. So like I said, I'm going to do another one because that was really what my idea was to do. And um, we'll do that on another video so that you guys can get the full gist and of the actual sympathy basket. Okay. And so I think we're going to keep things pretty much like this. That way they're able to see the blessed and thankful on the um, on the picture frame. They're able to, able to see that um, this book is a book of hope. And then they have the actual prayer cards. They have the potpourri. And I've already told you guys this potpourri smells really, really good. And I also have incense, okay? All of these are great items to include in a sympathy basket. So what we're going to do is I think I'm going to add a flower. Um, add a flower in here. I got wire cutters, y'all, but they're not in here. It's going to actually smash down when we get ready to wrap it anyway. But I just wanted to add that. I think it's a little great additive embellishment, whatever you call it, to um, put in with it. I could have actually put it on the outside with the bow like I do a lot of times, but we're just gonna keep it this way, okay? We're gonna keep it really, really simple. And where is my tape? Why do I always start videos and don't never have what I need? Can y'all help me to understand that? And I had all the stuff up here, but I don't know. Oh, it fell on the floor. So although this is going to be shrink wrapped, I'm still going to use tape so that it doesn't shift. Just going to take these items one to the other right here. Okay. I'm going to slip it right in our bag. This is an actual shrink wrap bag. If you need to buy shrink wrap bags, you can... Um, there's a link that will be in my description box. If you don't see the link, let me know and I will provide the link for you so that you can get these exact same bags that I use, okay? Very, very good quality bags. Will they get holes in them? Yes, they will if you do not um, know how to properly use your heat gun. But even if you get a hole, I've showed you guys in previous videos, do not throw the entire bag away how to fix the, um, correct the hole with clear transparent tape. The same tape that we use um, to create our gift basket is the same tape that we use to make corrections, okay? When I'm doing these unbaskets in the trays, I always bring my bow. I had a little bit too much sugar. I bring my bow to the corner. So this bag is bigger than it needs to be. And we're gonna work all of that out. None of that is gonna matter when we finish. Yeah, it's getting really, really dark where I am. Look like a stone coming up. And use a to close it off. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this off just to get it out my way. Then where it said you could have actually cut it, but I just tape it up under the bottom. What's extra, I just tape it up under the bottom. 
If it's too, too much, you can put it. Okay, so this is what it looks like before it's actually shrink wrapped. And we're going to apply the heat. And it's going to be done. Let's go ahead and do our bow real quick before we actually do that, okay? Let's see if I want. I think I'm going to, instead of keeping it wide like that, we're going to just rip it in half. If you know, need to know how to make these bows and I'm doing it too fast, plenty, plenty of videos on my channel. Okay, here is the completed look after it has been shrink wrapped, guys. And it turned out really, really nice. Really, really cute and amazing, y'all. I think this would be a really, really great holiday or like I said, sympathy basket for you to give to an individual that you know that may be experiencing bereavement or if you wanna take it to the next level, present to the funeral homes and get you some contracts going, guys. Remember, always get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye-bye.